Explosions Incorporated. For the past few videos, I've been talking a lot about chemical reactions. To really briefly review, a chemical reaction is one in which bonds between atoms are either being formed or broken, and you end up with a substance that is molecularly different from the substance that you started with. This process either consumes or releases energy. Also, we've been talking about the oxidation process that is responsible for fire. This is where oxygen combines with a fuel source and energy, and in the process it releases a bunch more of energy. Kind of like this uh, uh, demo that I started with the flaming bubbles demo. Let's take another look at this. Okay, this week I want to talk about what's happening to that energy that is being released in this chemical reaction. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can't be created or destroyed. It can be transferred from form to form until it ends up in a form that is useless to us to actually perform any work. But when that energy is released in a chemical reaction, it has to go somewhere. Now obviously the energy isn't all traveling into me, otherwise I would be injured. So what's happening? To be honest, a good deal of the energy actually does transfer into my hand when we do this, but not enough to actually harm me. The rest of the energy can actually be accounted for in a couple of different ways. First and foremost, you may have noticed that fire tends to travel up, the heat generated by fire also tends to rise, and the hottest part of a fire is oftentimes immediately above the flames. I do my best to keep my body out of that area, and for the most part it really does help. The other part of this, though, is these bubbles. These bubbles are made out of water and soap. Bubbled the fuel source through them. So when these bubbles pop, it releases the fuel, it can mix with the oxygen, and we get the oxidation process known as fire. As this happens, though, as the bubbles pop, they also do release some of that water that they were actually made out of. And that water is actually absorbing a lot of the energy that would otherwise go into me. You see, different substances absorb and store energy in different ways. You may have noticed this. Let's say you have a pizza in the oven cooking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You can open it up, stick your hand in there, and the air feels very warm. But unless you accidentally touch a piece of metal in there, you probably won't get burned. It's the difference between how air and metal react in terms of storing energy. So in this case, it is easier for the energy being generated by this reaction to travel into the water that's left in my hand than it is to travel into me. And as long as there's water and as long as that water can absorb energy, that's exactly where the energy goes. Now, like with a lot of our demos, I would like to ask that you do not try this at home. When it comes to setting myself on fire, I'm a professional. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Aaron with Explosions Incorporated.